Hey everybody, this is Chad. We're back again with uh, Bob. Last time we talked about the water, and now we're going to look at the breeding section. All right, let's go. In water, we have to have clownfish eggs. And so you can see here a whole bunch of clownfish. Um, Bob, as I'm looking at these fish, they're, they're all clownfish. But they're not all the same. Are they different species? What's unique about each one? There's many different species of clownfish, and we probably have about 15 different ones that are breeding right now. We have the very common one over here, the Ocellaris, which is Nemo, and it's the highest demand fish that's out there right now. We sell more of these than any other fish. But then there's all different strains, like over here we have a naked, over here we have snowflakes, over here we have midnights, so you do see different strains of these all the way along. People often ask how long a certain species of fish should live. This next segment will give you an idea of how long your Ocellaris clownfish should live. My favorite clownfish has always been Ocellaris. Uh, I think they're a great species to keep. They are, they're not, I wouldn't say timid, but they're, they're fish that tend to get along better with others. And they don't grow huge. They tend to eat quite a bit of a variety of food. So this is a beautiful pair of oscillators right there. Now you told me there's, there's something special about those oscillators. What's special about those guys? This is the first pair of fish when I started going from fresh water to salt water. This is the first two fish that I got back in 2001. So those, and, those fish have been around for a while. Yeah, they're over 15 years and they're still spawning. And you can even see there's a batch of eggs on the inside of the flower pot right there. Oh, okay. I see that. In this segment, Bob explains what's with the flower pots and also if the uh, size of tank that he's using is uh, big enough or not. We talked about the water, and you can see there's a lot of water. And then we, we see all the different kinds of clownfish, and they lay eggs. So first off, why the pots? Well, that's what they lay the eggs on. They're very comfortable in this flower pot. Clownfish, typically, even in the ocean, don't stray too far away from their anemone. So a 10-gallon tank and a flower pot they're very comfortable with. Okay, so th this is kind of a way for you to imitate their natural environment without having to go through the trouble and expense of keeping an anemone for every single one of these clownfish. Correct, and this is very simple now. These fish right over here, you can see the batch of eggs. We're going to move them tonight and we're going to hatch them out. So tomorrow morning when we wake up, we're going to have a tank full of babies. 